Inspiring and educating home cooks everywhere. I know you watch as much as I do. What is that attraction to KCTS tonight? It's, it's the people, it's the recipes, it's the fun we have. And the fun continues when you call 1-800-443-1999. This is going to be a fun recipe, not just as a, a kitchen classic, but Linda Waterfall of Seattle is now with us with a ginger fish and vegetables dish. And before you start dicing and cutting, I'm a, I looked at your bio, and a little back, bit of background is Northwest music scene, Seattle music scene. Mm -hmm. You've had some connection and opened up for some artists that are very, very popular, like Jimmy Buffett? Yeah, Jimmy Buffett, Jesse Winchester, uh, let me think. Uh, Righteous Brothers? Uh, no. no. Okay, but Righteous they, Mothers. Righteous <laughs> Mothers. And, and, and you, you were in some bands in the 70s, Local played group. bass guitar, had a rock group of your own? Yes, I did. I played uh, electric bass and a sky voice, and then I had my own rock group, and then I started going to okay, the Okay, so, so look right in that camera right there. Right. Anybody in the, the world of music, look at this face. Do you recognize? Okay, now, she's about to cook here on KCTS True. 9 and show us this wonderful recipe. So, This is ginger fish and vegetables, uh, something that we eat a lot around our house, and you start out with the green onion and the ginger. The fresh ginger is really the essential deal. Mm -hmm. So Linda, where did the inspiration from the, for this recipe come from? Well, I, um, I'm i always looking for new ways to cook fish. I actually grew up in the Midwest where we had no good fish when I was growing up. And my <laughs> I'm mother, so sorry. Oh yeah. <laughs> my mother tried it once and filled the house with this dreadful smell and everybody said, ew, we don't want... <laughs> so, uh, but then when I came out to the West Coast, the, the fish out here is so Amazing! Well, it and is. You're, you're proving it's to us because it's so fresh. Mm -hmm. And you're proving to us, uh, starving musicians, you've got to eat. So why not learn to cook? Absolutely. And here you are. Here you are. So this is uh, just scallions and fresh ginger and some olive oil, mm -hmm. and that's going to simmer for a little while. Nice and, and healthy stuff. And while it's simmering, we'll we'll turn our attention to these the yellow beets. Now these are really an important part because. They're right sweet here. and flavorful. I need to look at those. What, yes. These are what now? They're yellow beets. Yellow beets. And they're yellow uh, beets. yeah, you can get these at PCC. Mm -hmm. They're they're slightly sweet and they also so they impart sweetness and also a golden flavor mm. to the broth. And um, they are the slowest cooking of the vegetables, so you put them in first, of course. And uh, actually, the fish. Usually, now, when you put the fish in, you could turn that down a little bit, maybe. Okay. Um, when you put the fish in, sort of depends on how thick the fish is. But this fish is, is, is not not terribly thick. Like if this was a halibut, you'd put it in before any of the vegetables. Is that mm -hmm. a snapper? This is actually a snapper, yeah. And so we're going to put the snapper in, and we're going to put the, uh, put the, the beets, beets in. And then we add... Look at all those colors. Right. Yes. This or is yes. healthy. This healthy. healthy stuff. Yeah, this is very healthy. Is this mainly for white fish and snapper, or can we do this with salmon, trout? You ever tried? I've never tried it okay. with trout or salmon. Usually, uh, snapper or cod, or um, and sometimes halibut. The white fish. All right. Yeah, the white fish. Uh, be and it's because the flavors are subtle. This is a, a delicate. It's not a real spicy dish and so these delicate flavors will bring out the flavor of the fish. Right, mm -hmm. so a fattier fish is probably going to give you a little more fish taste to it versus yeah. the more delicate fish is going to have yeah. more of the veggie flavors. Yes, exactly. So um, while those guys are simmering, then the next thing, again, we might want to turn it down just, I just a did. little bit. I just wanted to make sure it was up to temp there. And put the lid there. Okay. And while mm -hmm. that's steaming along, now some people like to chop kale and some people, I like to tear it for some reason. That's because it's very sensual when you tear it. All right, <laughs> well, so I'm in the mood. And you can hear it, yes. it's great. It also, you know, gives you a different appearance. If you chop it, you get all those sharp angles. Um, so this is kale and the kale would go in next because it's fairly slow cook cooking as well. And. Uh, Let's see if we're ready? ready. I think, yeah, maybe just a couple more minutes okay. on that. While this is, because uh, the beets are pretty hard, mm -hmm. and then we, you want to flip the fish fairly soon because if you don't, if you wait too long to flip it, it falls apart right. when you flip it. And so what I can do, though, while we're waiting is chop this carrot, and the carrot will go in right after the kale. These vegetables are all organic. They all came from PCC, mm -hmm. and uh, PCC is 
uh, one of the sponsors of this show, isn't it? I often see They help their, out a lot. They help out a lot. They and help it, out a lot. And great. What better than support local farmers with all the farmers markets available mm -hmm. around Amen the area, too. Amen to that. Absolutely. Okay, before we put the kale in, let's flip the fish. Let's flip the fish. And are you going to flip it? I'll flip it. You all right. flip it? Let's watch this. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Do try this at home. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Beautiful. Flip the fish. There we go. Done. Fantastic. And All right. So I we're ready to put more veggies in? Yeah, and maybe just a little bit more water. So, of course, you might want to turn it up again. Yeah, boy, you've got that down. And then uh, sort of cluster the kale around like mm. that. And again, put the lid on. More colors. You have the attention of all these musicians who are watching thinking, Linda Waterfall and all the music she's done in the years, where did you learn to cook such recipes and make it look so easy? You can do this, okay? You got time. Totally. A whole it's... new audience is tuned in because of you being here. Well, and your back background in music and your love for food. So thank you. Well, it's it's such a treat to be here. I've watched this show countless times. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge fan of Channel 9. It's the only TV I watch and uh, it's such a treat. Well, thank you for being such an avid supporter. Mm -hmm. I am an avid supporter. And and this is a challenge to all you viewers out there. Yeah. Send in a recipe for our next show. You could Maybe. do this too. Yes. Absolutely. And all the times you performed on stage, and here it is, the stage of cooking, and see it's not that tough. Okay, we ready to put those carrots in? I think so. Ooh, and our our kale has just started to wilt a little bit. Yeah, turn it down a little bit maybe. I just did. Yeah, that's good. And uh, This burner's a little... The carrots will cool it off real yeah. quick too, of course. And then, you know, you want to sort of move stuff around a little bit so that it Get them down cooks in there. evenly. And this fish is really cooperating with this. It's not falling apart. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I is can that see that it's just cooking beer really nicely. That we could do on this, Linda, is, is cook it too much and the <laughs> fish falls apart. Well, in terms of making a great presentation, even if it falls apart, it'll be delicious. Oh, we're going to eat it. Oh, yeah, we're going to eat it. Gonna eat it. Yeah. No matter what, we're eating this. We're eating this fish. Okay, now comes the broccoli. And look at I'm, all this good food. The thing is, Good healthy food you. healthy food can be delicious. Mm -hmm. That yes. is the and, and vegetables don't have to be punishment. They can be wonderful. You know, it just depends See, on whether they're fresh. Yeah. What did I do? Why don't I get to eat the broccoli? Nowadays we're all learning we have to eat better, which means you need to cook it. You need to control it. So. Well, and there's you know learning how to do it. You know, there's if, and and of course if it's fresh and it's not in a can. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they've ever canned broccoli. Probably not. I hope not. That would that would be bad. <laughs> that, that would be, be bad. punishment. Okay, let's toss this in here. Yeah. Is that right? All righty. Okay, we're doing good. Okay, now the last thing that peppers will happen. Peppers not yet. The peppers go in at the very end. I okay. only just have them in there so long enough to get them warm. You okay. Know? Uh, and uh, so before the peppers, I'll put the lid on there for a minute and you can turn the Steam heat back up, up just a bit. And what I'm going to do now is the little sauce at the end. Now, sauce. this is nigori sake and it's uh, unfiltered sake. So it's, it's a bit cloudy, whitish and mm -hmm. cloudy. And then at the bottom, there's the, the dregs actually of the bottle, which are delicious. And I purposely, when I drink it, I don't pour this off because it's so great to cook with. Ah. And this is yeah, toasted, sesame, to know. toasted sesame oil. Uh -huh. And this is just tamari. And so now, if you want to <laughs> lift the lid. Okay. Oh, this is really working. It, yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad. That is great. Just like at home. Okay. So you could turn it down well, a little bit now. What you see is what's going to happen when you cook this at home, too. Okay, so here's the sake. <laughs> And you can always have a little, you know, in a cup while you're working. Right. Uh, want to be Sometimes like Julia Child. Sometimes we even put it in the food. Yes, yes. exactly. Spoken like a true musician. This is toasted sesame oil, and you just mm -hmm. really only need a thin stream. Yeah. It's so yeah, flavorful. It's very powerful. Very stuff. powerful. And then uh, the tamari, I usually kind of drizzle that over the fish too to give it a little bit of color. And then Ooh. around like that. This is the umaminess that's going in there. The umaminess? Umaminess. Mm -hmm. I like that. Umaminess. Oh, and then let's not forget the peppers. Let's not forget the peppers. <gasps> Red. And that's the last step. There it and is. look at that. Yeah. That's this the last is step as you said. Gorgeous. Okay. It is gorgeous. Okay. And then maybe you know you Lid give it another for just minute. A second here. Yep. And then in terms of plating it up, let's mm -hmm. see. Well, we could just put it on this plate. No, that had raw fish on it. I just happen to have a plate for that. Oh, do you have this a... This one had raw fish, so... Aha, uh -huh. another bowl. 
Here How we go. about this one? Oh, this is nice. This looks like one of those cool cooking shows. This is a cooking it show is. plate. This, this is, is a, a cooking, cooking show. Cooking show. Okay. Cooking show. Linda. Hello. <laughs> this is where we have the plates. Okay, okay where is the rice? Yeah, bring the we rice over rice. here and let's shut that off. And and another uh, healthy ingredient to yeah, go on there. Yeah, this is brown rice. Jasmine rice and basmati rice are really good with this dish. Mm -hmm. and But also short grain brown. I like the short grain because it's so oh, you could chewy. do quinoa? You could Lots do quinoa. Things you could do with this. Yes, indeed. Okay, so there's, let's just put that much rice. Here, I'll take that out. And then, uh, and then you just plate it up, as they say. That's a new mm -hmm. phrase, isn't it? Plate just it like plate in the up. last few years, they started no, saying that. It's, no, it's not new. They've been saying that in commercial kitchens for years. Oh, really? But okay. you, can say so, it. you said it. Okay. I'm going to let you I'm, do this. I made fish. it a second hand here. Here we go. Da 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 and then you just put the vegetables Oops. around it, and at the very end, you can drizzle what's drizzle left in the pan. Sauce. Yeah, the y yummy sauce, very important. And plenty of rice so that the rice can soak it up. Okay. And very good with a cup of sake or some white wine. No, you do like that. And, uh, do you know that would look next to a glass of wine? Oh, yeah, that's, that uh, looks wonderful, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, we should all have a toast. A taste. A taste and a toast. And a toast you ready? to KCTS. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got one for me there? All I right. do. There we go. All righty, here we go. So again, this is the ginger ooh, fish ooh, and vegetables ooh. from I'm getting Linda broccoli. Waterfall, longtime musician of Northwest Music rice Scene. Sausage. Here's the fish. My vegetable. Mm. Working together. Mm hmm. Mm. You learned some things all that time of playing music around the stages and performance halls of the Northwest in Western Washington. Well, I don't know that mm -hmm. I learned this there, but um, I got you inspired. Mm -hmm. Okay, Seattle okay. inspires me. And That's then thank for you sure. for finally, after watching all these great cooking shows on KCTS 9, to come aboard and share one. I can hardly believe I'm here. It's very exciting. Hey, now you're published. You're popular. You made it. All right. All right, the star is born, just like for you. 1-800-443-1999, online, kcts9.org. You like these? You like all this? You like the recipes? You need to support it. Linda Waterfall, Seattle, thank you so much. Thank Come you. Come back and see us.